We have lightning round questions this week. We are not doing a specific one. We are doing a lot of them with no preparation at all. We're going to wing it. We're going to wing them fast. We're going to wing them fast again. Like lightning, double fast. First one. Kind of ironically, what if you had an immovable object? <laughs> well, you won't be able to move it. Yep. Question done. Next question. <laughs> All right. No, let's set, let's set it double, up. Let's set it double up. fast. <laughs> let's set it up. What, what's, it, what's our movable object? Yeah. Is it like a, is it a thing? <laughs> is it let's just say like... it's, a to- <laughs> it's a toaster. Oh, it's a toaster? toaster? Okay. Actually, a toaster is perfect because I'm pretty sure if you hit an immovable object and transfer force into it, the only thing you can do is heat up. <laughs> Mm. Yep. <laughs> so whatever, whatever is in, whatever is, is at the start, it'll eventually be a toaster. So where is the toaster? Yeah, that's an important question. All right. Um, it's in your living room. It's above your coffee table. Where your co- coffee table will generally go? Above it, floating, maybe like a foot above the coffee table is your is your toaster. It's floating. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna fall. I guess what <laughs> it it comes into the question: What's the definition of immovable then? Because the Earth is moving. Yeah, I was going to say, is it fixed with, like, relation to the position of the Earth? Yeah, fixed fix re- in, in relation to the, the position of the uh, of the Earth. Otherwise, the answer is... We never would, see it. <laughs> we all die. It would, yeah, it would immediately accelerate away from you at uh, whatever speed the Earth is orbiting around the Sun. And if it happens to be on the front face of the Earth, it would go through the Earth, which would just be a very large... I'm, actually, I'm not sure how damaging that would be i don't think it would go through the earth i think we'd just move away from it well if it suddenly became removable and it was on you know in the path of earth's orbit on that side of the earth oh if it's in the okay yeah i got right it. yeah it was what side it's on when it starts yeah yeah you actually don't know how damaging it would be either because it's not actually so here's the weird thing is that it's not i don't know how fast is the earth moving very fast fast like real fast <laughs> but the thing is, the only the, it can only transfer the force to things around it, and so like the kind of the area of influence it has wouldn't be that. It's not. It's not. It doesn't have infinite stopping power because the Earth will just break kind of around it. It'll right. kind of it'll just float compress. through the Earth. It'll compress around. Like the material will compress when it pushes into it and then move out of the way. Exactly. Right. So it'll make a big hole in the Earth, and then it might a little kill. Hole. It's only a toaster. Yeah, a little hole, and then it might like kill one person <laughs> on the other side I mean, i'm not sure how big the explosion would be on the other side of the earth that would, that would require a bit of physics oh my god wait no okay so the best this is actually incredible because assuming it doesn't make a giant explosion which i'm not i'm not sure about but assuming it doesn't once a year <laughs> there's the coming <laughs> of the toaster <laughs> where somewhere on earth a toaster flies through the planet <laughs> every year well, they would they be able to calculate where it's going to hit? They might probably. Be able to. Yeah, they would be able to. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be that'd be a no brainer. Yeah. The real issue. The real issue is 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 that would you rather be on the side of the Earth facing towards the toaster or like the one where where it's coming out? You'd rather. I think you'd rather be the one like where you could see it theoretically coming at you. I wouldn't like to be like I don't know why I I just assume China's the one facing the backside. That's <laughs> that's some uh, Amerocentric Amerocentric thinking right there, but. You know, I'd rather not have the thing of each year that it just randomly pops out of the street somewhere. Right. I mean, chances are it'll pop out of the ocean, right? Yes. Two thirds, yeah. So it'll start on land because we're not going to have a toaster in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but then it'll pop out on the other side in the ocean. Also, it depends. How stable is Earth's orbit? Does the Earth just like not hit the same exact spot in space? Well, I mean, the sun is moving too, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's oh, true. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> well, actually, that depends what you count stationary. In which case, yeah. If you, I guess, you count the center of the big, big bang, the center of the 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 reference point. In which case, we would just never see it. It, we would just never see it. Here's another question: Was was the toaster always there, or did it come into being at some point? I think it suddenly became immovable. Otherwise, or there is a toaster that's immovable in space somewhere right now and we're hurtling towards it <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> you know i like that one that actually. could be that could be true yeah. infinite universe I, uh, somewhere somewhere out there is a toaster just waiting for us <laughs> that was a clip from absurd hypotheticals the podcast where we answer dumb hypothetical questions for the full episode click on the link in the description